Faxverse presents What Happened to the Many Loves of Dobie Gillis cast. Before we get started, make sure you click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all our videos. Dwayne Hickman Dwayne Hickman was the star of the show The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis. His role as Dobie was well earned. He began acting in 1939 where he played an extra in the film The Grapes of Wrath. Dwayne continued to appear in other films and TV series, including Faithful in My Fashion, The Lone Ranger, and The Bob Cummings Show. Even though Dwayne's character is a teenager in the show, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, the actor was 25 years old when he landed the role in 1959. After The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, however, Dwayne realized he had a bit of a problem. Directors typecast him as a younger kind of character. But once the show was over, he was much older and no longer able to realistically portray teenagers. He had a bit of difficulty finding his footing after the show, but he ultimately bounced back. In 1965, he starred in the film Ski Party, and he continued to act in film and television for over a decade. In 1977, however, Dwayne found a new passion, producing. He worked as a producer for CBS from 1977 to 1988, and he even started directing TV shows in 1980. Dwayne worked for many long years after that until he finally retired in 2015. Bob Denver Bob Denver is probably the most well-known actor on this list. His role as Maynard G. Krebs, Dobie's sidekick, was originally intended to be a minor character. However, Bob Denver brought Maynard to life, and he soon became a breakout character. Many people are unaware, however, that Bob Denver almost left the show after only three episodes. Denver received a draft notice, and he was about to be written out of the show. However, he was declared unfit for military service due to issues with his neck. Immediately after The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, Bob Denver found fame in another television show, Gilligan's Island. The pilot aired in 1963, but it wasn't until 1964 that the rest of the first season was broadcast. Bob Denver played Gilligan in the beloved TV series. Even though Gilligan's Island only ran for a total of three seasons, people all over the country loved it so much that many still watch reruns today. After Gilligan's Island, Bob Denver guest starred on a few television shows, as well as some movie specials of Gilligan's Island. He retired from acting in 1997 and died in 2005 when he was 70 years old. Tuesday Weld Tuesday Weld appeared in the first season of The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, where she played Dobie's crush, Talia Menninger. She left after the first season, but in 1960, Tuesday was awarded a Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Female Newcomer. After her work on The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, Tuesday found herself a popular and highly sought-after actress. In 1960 alone, she acted in five films, including Because They're Young and Sex Kittens Go to College. In 1972, she was nominated for the Golden Globe Award of Best Actress for the film Play It As It Lays. She was also nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress for the 1983 miniseries The Winter of Our Discontent. Tuesday continued to appear in many more films and TV series until 2001, when she officially retired from acting. Today, she lives in the Hollywood Hills. If you're impressed by the number of awards and nominations Tuesday Weld received, make sure to click the like button. Steve Franken Steve Franken played Dobie's rival, Chatsworth Osborne Jr. Chatsworth was the son of a millionaire and extremely popular with the ladies. Steve Franken began acting in 1959, where he appeared once in the anthology series Playhouse 90. He continued to act in a few different television series before he finally landed the role of Chatsworth. After the end of The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, Steve found himself playing the role of Lieutenant Samuel Sanpan Panosian in the TV series The Lieutenant. While he never went on to star in any major films or TV series after that, he was successful in a few one-time appearances on various TV shows. He continued to act until he died of cancer in 2012 at the age of 80. William Schallert William Schallert played Dobie's English and science teacher, Professor Leander Pomfret. After Dobie went on to college, the producers of the show liked William's acting so much, they asked him to play the role of another professor through seasons one and three. Schallert appeared in countless films and TV shows, both before and after his work in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis. Between 1979 and 81, he was president of the Screen Actors Guild, but that didn't stop him from acting. 
Some of his most famous television appearances include The Patty Duke Show, Little House on the Prairie, and Gunsmoke. After over 50 years of acting, William Shallert finally retired in 2011. He died in 2015 at age 93. Warren Beatty Warren Beatty's appearance in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis wasn't much. He appeared in season one, where he played Dobie's rival, Milton Armitage. Halfway through the first season, however, Beatty decided to quit. Steve Franken was cast as Dobie's new rival, while Beatty moved on to bigger and better things. Warren Beatty has been nominated for a total of 15 Academy Awards and 18 Golden Globe Awards. After The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, he acted in his first film, Splendor in the Grass, which was released in 1961. The film was a huge success, and Warren was nominated for his first Golden Globe for Best Actor. In 1967, he began his career as a producer in the film Bonnie and Clyde, which he also starred in. Warren is still active today as a director, producer, writer, and actor. Florida Freebus Florida Freebus played Dobie Gillis' doting mother, Winnie Gillis. After The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, she also starred in another sitcom, The Bob Newhart Show, where she played the role of Mrs. Lillian Baker. Overall, she appeared in 44 different television series, either as a supporting character or as a guest star. Florida retired from acting in 1978, and she died in 1988 when she was 78 years old. Doris Packer Doris Packer was originally cast to play Warren Beatty's mother, but after he left the show, she was recast to play the mother of Chatsworth Osborne Jr. Doris did a wonderful job portraying a rich older lady in high society. While she was still acting in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, she also acted in the show Leave It to Beaver, where she played the school principal, Mrs. Rayburn. After her work in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, Doris found herself typecast as a rich older woman, but she didn't seem to mind it too much. She appeared in films such as Shampoo and The Perils of Pauline, but she eventually died in 1979 at 74 years old. Sheila Kuehl while many of the actors on this list continued to work in film and television, Sheila Kuehl had other plans. She originally played the role of Zelda Gilroy, a breakout character who almost got her own spin-off series after the show ended. However, Sheila decided to attend Harvard Law School in the 1970s. She taught and practiced law for a time before she decided to become a politician in 1994. She made history when she was the first openly gay person elected as California's state senator in 2000, serving for a total of eight years. Overall, the hit television show, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, was filled with talented actors. Were you more surprised by Sheila Kuehl's transition to politics or by Warren Beatty quitting the show to suddenly act in bigger films and TV shows? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Facts First for more.